Hello, in this video I'll show you how to create and set up lists in SharePoint. Using a list gives you the power to share information the way you want with your team members. Create your own list from scratch, add and delete any other columns you need, and add items individually or edit data with quick edit. To begin, go to your SharePoint site then click the gear icon in the top right and select site contents then select add an app then find custom list name your list in this case I'm going to be making an RSVP list for a meeting so I'll call it meeting guests now on the left you should see your new list under recent. Navigate to it. Then click edit this list. From here you can add columns, rename columns, etc. So for my list I'm going to rename the default title column to name and add a second column which will be a drop-down menu to select from. I will call it RSVP and choice menu to choose from. I will require the contents of this. I'll set the choices as not attending and attending the default choice I want to be not attending. Now you see I have both. Hit stop editing. Now you can see I can create. I entry in my list. However now I realize that I actually don't like this drop down menu and would prefer radio buttons. So I need to get back to the options for the RSVP list. To do this, and hit list in the top ribbon, and then list settings. You'll now see the advanced settings for your list. From here you can do things such as set which fields are required, set column ordering, delete the list or a column, and return to the column setup screen, which is what I'm going to do to change the drop down. So here you can see we're back at this setting screen, and I'll just change the setting I want here, which is radio buttons. And note that at the bottom you also get the option to delete the column. This is how you would go about doing that. So I hit OK, go back to my list, and now hit New Item, and now you can see, rather than the drop down, there's now two radio buttons to select from, which in my opinion is better for this job. If you would like to know how to customize this form, to meet your preferences, check out our other video, How to Add a Form to Your SharePoint Site Using InfoPath.